Stu Tuner, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's topic of conversation is going to be about the idea of how we can utilize our tonics and adaptogens in a more fun and exciting way. Um, if you've listened to any of the previous videos I've done in regards to tonics and adaptogens, you've probably taken notice that I try to impress upon people that it's about consistency and about giving it the time it deserves uh, in order to see cumulative results when taking these types of herbs and foods. <laughs> But I also understand, because we're human, that we can get bored with using the same thing in the same way every day. I mean, there's only so many smoothies you can make. There's only so many cups of tea you can make. And it gets pretty stinking boring. So what I thought I'd do is, I thought I'd give you guys uh, another suggestion on how you can utilize these foods. Um, and what, what I said was really key there. I said foods. Because if you begin to think of them as foods or medicinal foods, it would be easier for you to be able to incorporate this. So not too long ago, I did a wonderful video. Uh, it was about 5 in the morning I did the video uh, about um, my tonic coffee. And for those of you who might not be coffee drinkers, what you can also do is you can make a, um, a tonic broth. And you can, of course, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can make it in, in a, uh, like a vegetable broth. Um, if you're a meat eater, a uh, carnivore, you can make a chicken broth or a beef broth or a bone broth where you add these different herbs like astragalus. You oftentimes want to only add root powders because they're the ones that you could uh, put up to a low boil and they can simmer for hours on end versus something that might be like a leaf powder where if you cook it too long you're really going to do nothing but destroy the important constituents in it. So using things like um, like the mushroom powders like uh, chaga or um, things like astragalus or reishi. These are all wonderful things that you can make a broth with and that broth can be used and cooked with almost any food. You could put rice in it, you could put noodles in it, you can make it as your hot drink in the morning if you really wanted to. Uh, it's a substitution for coffee or you can even add it to your coffee if you really wanted to. There's a variety of different ways. The other thing that's nice about using these and making these different broths with these different herbs in it is, is that you have ways of adding additional things. You can add other spices in there like curcumin or turmeric I should say or things like ginger or cayenne that will help to support the benefits that you're getting from these herbs to begin with. So I just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention because again I understand and I know that doing the same thing over and over every day can get very boring and you want to spice up your life a little bit, no pun intended. Um, so give some thought to making a big batch of broth. You can freeze it, you can refrigerate it, and it lasts a long, long time. But again, even with this particular form of, of using your herbs, consistency, consistency, consistency. I'll see you next time.